Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these little boots. Three dollhouse. Alright, so the very first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself some coffee stirring sticks and some popsicle sticks and two pair of needle nose pliers. Alright. Once you have them, then you want to take your 3-in-1 multi-cut tool and you are going to cut a piece on an angle like this. Then you're going to cut on an angle like that. All right. Then you're going to put it together to where the ends meet. And cut it again. All right now, in order to make the boat have a rounded look, you can either soak these in water and bend them, or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is really easily. Um, you're just gonna slightly break it. To you where you hear it bending. Okay, don't worry about this part being like splintered like that because that will be covered up once you paint it. And so then you go from being straight to bowed like that. Alright, once you have that, you can cut a bottom to fit or you can um, go ahead and just put glue in there and then paint it once the glue is in there. Alright. So now what you want to do is you want to put them back together like this. All right. But in order to do that, you're going to need something to make them stick. So I'm using some gel super glue. You're going to put it right on the inside there and right on the inside here. Then you're going to lay them on top of each other to where they are even. Now at this point you can use some masking tape or some um, glue or you can just kind of set them down somewhere and let it go together. Your ends should meet up and then it should look sort of like that. Once it looks like that, then you're going to take your boat and you're going to sand it. Sand it very well because when you're using gloss, all of the flaws will show. All right. After that, then you want to go ahead and let that dry a little bit. Get yourself a toothpick. Get your 3-in-1 multi-cut tool again. Cut that off. You're going to measure how far up you want it to go. And then cut it. You want to go ahead and get yourself some material. Fold the material over. And now you're going to cut it on an angle to make a triangle. Now you want to get yourself some tacky glue and then you want to trim it up a little bit before you glue it. My point does not have quite the point there so I'm going to redo that. Alright, and then I want mine to be a little bit shorter so I'm going to go ahead and take some off the bottom too. All right. The tacky glue will get applied just 
like that. And your toothpick will slide down in there. Fold that over just like so. Now, so you don't see everything, you're going to take your 3-in-1 multi-cut tool and cut that excess off. Now you want to go ahead and put some crazy glue on the one side of your sail and stick it in there. So this one has a little bit wider of an opening so it doesn't want to lay in there the way I want it to. So I'm just going to lay it in there just like this. Then I'm going to take a popsicle stick or a coffee stirring stick because it's the same width as the bottom of the boat and I'm going to stick it in there. So then that's going to sit in there just like that and we're going to let that dry. Now for the next little boat, you're going to take two pieces and you're going to cut triangles at the top and at the bottom. Then you're going to apply some glue. Now I'm using the crazy glue because it dries quicker. But if you want to wait, don't want to wait, then you can go ahead and use whatever you want. You want to cut these two together when you do it, by the way. Alright, now that's going to make it thick. So now you want to let that dry, but while it's drying, so that you get a good tight seal on that, use a binder clip. You're going to hold it in place. Okay, so this is over here drying. Now you want to take two pieces of a wooden dowel. And you want to cut it on an angle. So it should look like this. All right. Now you want to hold it with the angle going upward. So it looks like that. Be very careful and then cut it again. All right, now once that's done, then you want to make the top one a little bit shorter. So take some of that off. Once you do that, then one goes up like this and one goes down like that and then they go together. All right, and then you glue them to look like this. Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some crazy glue right here on here. Now, I will tell you this, it is easier to paint this before you do this step, but it's up to you what you want to do. Alright, so then have a little bit of the toothpick standing outside the top you can have more or less if you want it's up to you and 
All right, now see how this bottom is open here? You can cut a piece to fit inside there on the bottom like that. But first, you'll need to sand it flat in case your thing came through. You can cut it to go inside or you can cut it to go on the bottom. Either one will work. Now use your binder clip again to help hold that in place or mask and tape, whichever one you have. Just long enough for it to stick. After that, you need to get yourself some really thin jewelry wire. As thin as you can find is what you want. And then you want to cut yourself another triangle out of your fabric. you are going to glue it again. And of course I leave this thing sitting upside right. You're going to slide this wire in between. Fold the flag over. And then you're going to take the wire. And you're going to bend it in. Now the tacky glue is used because it glues the fabric and it keeps it from fraying. Trim up your edges where it might have been loose. You're going to take a stick pen and you're going to make a hole in the top of that toothpick. Be very, very careful when you do it because you may end up poking yourself if you're not. Put a tiny bit of glue right at the very, very top. And you're going to measure down, bend that over to where you have something that looks like this.
right now where that lays inside you want to put some crazy glue and then there you have the boat once it's completely dry sand all this to make it one and that's the first boat all right now for the second boat you have here you're gonna take this and you're gonna sand it on an angle just like that so it's smooth See how it makes it look like it's more one when you do that? Now you can paint this before it dries if you like. It's a lot easier to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and just do it as is because I want to go ahead and show you how it's done with gluing it together. But when you go to paint it, if you're doing it beforehand, stick a little stick pen in there and hold it like this. And then to let it dry, take your binder clip and hold it like that. That way you never have to lay a side down on the ground for it to dry and you're not getting it all over your fingers okay so then now the part that's kind of rounded downward you can't see it too much but it is um you're going to set that flat and then that part you're going to use now for this since it's already done we're going to go ahead and cut that off and we're going to use some super glue the opposite way that's for sure all right you're gonna use some super glue and then you're gonna put it right there in the middle now if you want you can draw a hole also the size of your toothpick and then do it that way but there it is that's the second boat All right, now the third boat, you're going to make exactly like you did here, only you're going to make it smaller. You're going to go ahead and put some crazy glue on there. Try not to overdo it like I just did. So I got too much in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and move my glob of glue into the middle because I'm going to fill the middle in with the glue anyway on this boat. All right, now you're going to take them and put them together like a sandwich. And you will let that dry once it's dry then you'll take one square dowel which you will measure to go in there and bring it out about three quarters of an inch now I did pre-paint this dowel because it's going to be really hard to get it in there And then it's going to go straight down in the center. 
but you're going to leave it back just a tiny bit in the center. So leave it back about, I don't know, as far as you can with uh, the angle. And then what you'll have to also do to get it to work is you're going to have to take the sandpaper and you're going to have to sand it like a roof of a house. So it should kind of have a V at the end. Put that in there like that. Now you need two little towers. You can use anything that's round. A Q-tip can, you know, would work because it's round as long as it's not the hollow Q-tip or a wooden dowel, a straw, you know, as long as it's small. Now I made the other one right here with two little ones, but this one I wanna go a little bit different. I wanna make it a little bit different. So we're gonna do that just slightly different. Now that I've got that in there, I want to go ahead and put my wooden dowel in here. And I want the first one to touch. Okay? So when you're putting it in there, make sure you put a little bit of glue here after you make sure it's fitting. All right, put that there. Now, I don't want it quite that tall, so since I've got it in there now and I can see where it's gonna be at, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off of there like that. So there's the first one. My second one, I'm going to make a little bit shorter. And I'm going to put some super glue on the edges of that one. And then slide it in there and then there you have the boat now this one I angled just a tiny bit okay doesn't have to be angled though you can kind of leave it short if you want all right so there's that boat and that's gonna resemble this boat the little tugboat or steamboat rather okay then you have this one which will be this one, only it's bigger. I uh, tried to make different sizes. And then similar to this one. All right, and that's it. And then you have the sailboats. And that's all it is other than sanding and painting. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys make some boats and share them with us on our Facebook page under Dollhouse Mentor Madness and Tutorials. Check out dollhousetutorials.com for lots of DIYs, tons of videos on dollhouses that's all based with tutorials. Then I also have some printable stuff such as wallpaper, backsplashes, um, flooring, you name it, um, tons of templates and lots of like little fun stuff. Um, so check that out as well. And we will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.